Hello, my friends. My name is Sam of Sam the Vlog, aka Sir underscore Beardface. Welcome to the channel, and today we are talking about my brand new camera bag. Today we are talking about the BagSmart DSLR camera bag, which I have recently acquired. Let, let me read you the actual title. Ready? Bag smart camera backpack with 15.6 inch laptop compartment and waterproof rain cover for SLR, DSLR cameras and accessories gray. So if you're looking for a bag, search that on Amazon. I'm gonna tell you what I like and what I don't like about it. Most of all, it's like, it's a good bag. I've been using it for about a month. Let's cover some of its features and fun little facts. As you see pictured here, you have the bag smart. You can find this in the link below in the description. You can actually shop everything that I own, camera and video related, by clicking the link below. So go check that out if you wanna see. Um, I picked this bag up for 99 bucks. Not bad. There are other bags up there that are 300 plus and I wasn't looking to spend that. I wanted a good looking, functional bag that kind of did what I needed on a daily basis. This isn't long-term camping or hiking. This is day trips, quick run and gun setups, all stored in this bag, maybe a few personal items as well. I recently traveled to Idaho. I used this bag as my carry-on and everything fit perfectly. I had all my camera gear in the bottom, my drone in the top, some clothes, some underpants, and my toiletries, and we were off to the races. Stuck right up there in the carry-on overhead compartment, and away we went, and it worked great. So far, I do really love this bag. So, I bought, let's just, come on over here, Bag Smart. Don't be shy, let's just talk about you for a minute. So I was attracted to this initially because it's just good looking. It's a good looking bag. It's got these leather straps. These are magnetic buckles, which are semi-functional, but not fully functional. And it does everything that I need storing all my gear. What do I keep in there, you ask? I'm gonna tell you. In the bottom compartment here, this is on your back, your camera storage compartment. This is where you keep your DSLR, your lenses, your microphone, your little handheld tripod thing if you're a vlogger, whatever else you wanna stash in here. Conveniently, it's got a lot of, couple Velcro patches up here. Stick some SD cards, maybe some ND filters, things of that nature in the back. Now, these compartments are adjustable. They're Velcro, so you can move these around as you need. I stick my Canon 80D right here with the lens still attached so I can pop it out and be able to shoot ready to go. I have a Tokina 11 to 16 wide angle lens, a 50 millimeter F1.4 over here. I jam my Rode VideoMic Go up here and my battery charger and batteries over here and any other little knickknacks, little carrying case with SD cards and things right here. It really does work well uh, for your run and gun setup and you can fit everything quickly inside of there. You do have to take the bag off every time if you're gonna get into your compartment here because it is on your back. It's not a front facing one, but it keeps the design looking really nice, really sleek. Now, another cool feature is there is a quick access side zipper if you wanna get that, that camera out lickety split. Let's say you're hiking a freaking moose or a bear or uh, um, depending on what part of the world you're in, wombat perhaps, pops out in front of you, you wanna get the shot, open up your quick access, your DSLR is right here, pop that thing out, away you go. Don't forget to close it because if you're running around, everything's gonna fall out the side here. That could be a problem. That's the bottom compartment, that's where you store all your gear. Now in the top, these buckles pop off right here and you have a flip open with actually an expandable compartment with a drawstring, which is cool, that's convenient. Here's one of my beefs with this bag. Uh, when I went on that trip recently, I loaded this up with some clothes and this was sticking up here. When you have that so full that it's pushing the top flap up, the buckles don't reach down here. Which, if you're super worried about your image, that could be a real issue. People could potentially point fingers and call you a poser because your buckles aren't done. So be careful. Um, the good thing is, is if these are still unattached, there is a drawstring with a cinch. So your stuff's not going anywhere. It's just not gonna look quite as cool. But if you're just carrying a few doodads in here, everything closes and buttons up real nicely. It's nice, I like it. There is a front pouch here, which I haven't found much use of because it's very skinny. And if you have your laptop in here and all your gear, there's not much room to stick stuff in there. But if you had something ultra thin, uh, that's actually where I keep the rain hood poncho deal, which this bag comes with, which is really nice. And let me tell you a story. I've used this already. My wife and I went to Canada recently. If you haven't seen that vlog, go check it out. It's a couple videos back. And it started raining while we were out walking and walking around. I would say hiking, but there's no mountains there where I was, Eastern Canada. And I popped this thing out and I stuck the rain fly over and it's waterproof and it worked great. My camera was safe, I felt good, and I protected from the rain and away we went. 
Now, um, in this top compartment here, on the other side, you do have a quick access port here as well. So if you need to reach in and grab some undies and whatever, there's your, there's your spot. You're gonna stick your hand right through there. You're gonna grab what you need. This is nice. I, I feel like they put a lot of thought into some of this design here, but in the back of this bag, you actually have, which you probably can't see right now, there's two little mesh compartments here, which you could store some little knickknacks in. And there is a zipper across the back too with another pouch. So you can kind of compartmentalize, store things, keep them separated from each other. It's quite nice. In the front of the bag, is where you're gonna store your laptop. And this is my second beef with this bag. Let me show you. This is my 15 inch MacBook Pro. I take this with me everywhere. Not only do I edit all of my, my photos and my videos on it, I also work from this computer. So if I'm traveling, I need to have this with me. It slips into the front compartment of the bag really, really nicely. And then it actually has a little uh, Velcro lock strap that goes over the top so that it doesn't slide and bounce around. I don't love that it is on the front of the bag. If somebody came at you all wheely nilly and trying to roundhouse you, your bag might take the brunt. If you slipped on some ice and fell on your back, your computer is gonna take the first hit. I keep my rain fly on the outside on purpose for a little bit extra padding, which works out nicely. Um, and it is really comfortable to wear as well because you don't have that square laptop right in your backbone and your shoulder blades and causing all kinds of problems. Pros and cons to that, but it does sit here nicely in the front. And honestly, you can't even tell it's there. It is nice. So let's talk quickly about what I keep in this bag. I always travel with my Canon 80D. Attached is the Canon 80D kit lens, the 18 to 135 with the fancy autofocus motors and all that jazz. It's just a good quick lens for my vlogging stuff for me to be able to pop that camera out and start getting the shot. Um, I also include my 50 millimeter f1.4, my Tokina 11 to 16, uh, my Rode Video Mic Go, my battery and charger, SD cards and cables. All of that fits in the bottom compartment. In the top compartment, I usually include my drone, my DJI Mavic Pro. Uh, I have that in its own little carrying case. I include the chargers, the cables, the remote, and the actual drone itself, all right there, as well as my GoPro. In the side of the bag, we haven't even talked about this. In the side of the bag, there's this little mesh compartment here, which I probably think it's gonna wear out over time. It's designed to be used with like a travel tripod. This part here unclips and is adjustable. You can stick the feet of the tripod here and then clip this around the top and have your tripod stable and nicely secured to the side of your bag. It is nice, it just doesn't hold a large tripod. Get a little travel tripod and that's where that's gonna sit. Um, so my tripod goes on there. I've got in a little extra room after my drone goes in the top to stick in little doodads or whatever I need with these other zipper pockets and the compartments, um, whether it's personal items or a few little extra things that I wanna bring with me. Anyway, that is the bag. I've enjoyed it so far. I've been using it for about a month. This is not a paid video. I bought the bag. I thought it was nice. I wanted to share it with you guys. Go pick it up if you want it. There's a link in the description below. And uh, that's it. If you have questions, let me know. Let me know if you plan to get the bag or if you already have the bag, what you think of the bag. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and stay tuned for other videos. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. We'll catch you on the flippy. Goodbye.